What's going on guys, Fetty Louie here, bringing you guys a brand new video. We're going to be doing a mid-fade on my boy, so stay tuned. We're starting off by saturating the hair and combing all his curls in place. Now that we're done laying the hair down, we can move on to our anesthesia outliners and create our first guideline. You want to make sure you contour this guideline to the head shape so the fade can flow better. Now that we're done balding him out, we can move on to our shave stick and apply it to his skin. This is so he doesn't bump up. Now that we're done applying the shave stick, we can move on to our foil shavers and remove the stubble. Make sure you flick out about 1mm away from your first guideline. This is so you don't create a harsh line with your foil shavers. Now that we're done balding him out and removing the stubble, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You want to make sure you make this guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blend. Now we're going to use our lever midway and all the way close to help us erase that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to the one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Remember, we're going to use the same guard and the lever to soften up the line and get it ready for the half guard. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to the two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. Remember to flick out as much as possible once you reach the top. Remember we're going to use the lever to soften up the line and get it ready for the one and a half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, we can move on to the one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Sometimes there's still a faint line after using the one and a half guard, so switching over to your one guard all the way open and using its corners would definitely help. Before we use our clipper of a comb, we're going to deep oak with the three guard all the way open and we're going to flick out as much as we can. Now we're going back to our two guard all the way open and we're going to continue to flick out this line. Now we're moving back to our one guard all the way open to flick out this line. Mm -hmm. 
Now that we're done with our guards, we can move on to the clipper of a comb and create our silhouette. Having the hair slightly damp does make it easier to pick up with the comb. Once I pick up the hair with the comb, I'm then tilting the comb at a certain degree and either debulking horizontally or fading vertically. Now I'm going back to my previous guards and detailing as much as possible. Now that we're done with the sides, we can move on to the back and use our no guard all the way open to create our second guideline. We are nearing the occipital bone, so you want to make sure you spend more time here. Now that we're done setting in that guideline, we're going to slowly close the lever and blend out our initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to the one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Remember, we're gonna use the same guard and the lever to soften up the line and get it ready for the half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line, we can switch over to the half guard and erase the line completely. Now we're moving on to the two guard all the way open and we're creating our fourth guideline. Remember to flick out once you reach the top. We're gonna then use the lever to soften up the line and get it ready for the one and a half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line with the two guard, we can move on to the one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Before we move on to our clip rubber comb, we're gonna debulk with the three guard all the way open and we're gonna flick out as much as possible. Now that we're done using our guards, we can move on to the clipper over comb method and debulk as much as we can. Here we're going back to our previous guards, detailing as much as possible. Since we are near the occipital bone, the hair is more dense and the bone is in the way, so you want to make sure you spend more time here.
Before you start your shear work, you want to make sure the hair is nice and saturated so when you pull the hair, you get the full length. Now that the hair is nice and saturated, we could go ahead and create our first guideline at the top of the cactus and then connect it to the parietal ridge. Us doing our shear work near the calic area is going to make it as smooth as possible. Moving on to the hairline, we're going to start off by debulking it with the one guard all the way open and then moving on to our anis T outliner starting off in the middle and working our way to the sides. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Also, if you leave a comment down below, I'm definitely going to reply to it, so make sure you do. Now we're lining up the right side. You always want to make sure all the baby hairs are combed down before you line him up. We're trying to make the vertical bar as crispy as possible. Now that we're done lining them up, we can move on to our Turkish Razor Derby Premium Blades and make them as crispy as possible. Remember before you use the razor, you always want to apply shave gel to make the razor glide a little bit more smoother. Also you want to keep the razor at a 45 degree angle and stretch the skin as much as possible. 